Mathematical models can project how infectious diseases progress to show the likely outcome of an epidemic and help inform public health interventions. Models use some basic assumptions and mathematics to find parameters for various infectious diseases and use those parameters to calculate the effects of different interventions, like mass vaccination programs. The modeling can help in deciding which intervention, S to avoid and which to trial. History The modeling of infectious diseases is a tool which has been used to study the mechanisms by which diseases spread, to predict the future course of an outbreak, and to evaluate strategies to control an epidemic. The first scientist who systematically tried to quantify causes of death was John Graunt in his book Natural and Political Observations Made Upon the Bills of Mortality, in 1662. The bills he studied were listings of numbers and causes of deaths published weekly. Grant's analysis of causes of death is considered the beginning of the theory of competing risks, which according to Daly and Garney is a theory that is now well established among modern epidemiologists. The earliest account of mathematical modeling of spread of disease was carried out in 1766 by Daniel Bernoulli. Trained as a physician, Bernoulli created a mathematical model to defend the practice of inoculating against smallpox. The calculations from this model showed that universal inoculation against smallpox would increase the life expectancy from 26 years 7 months to 29 years 9 months. Daniel Bernoulli's work preceded the modern understanding of germ theory. In the early 20th century, William Hamer and Ronald Ross applied the law of mass action to explain epidemic behavior. The 1920s saw the emergence of compartmental models. The Kermick-McKendrick Epidemic Model and the Reed-Frost Epidemic Model both describe the relationship between susceptible, infected and immune individuals in a population. The Kermick-McKendrick epidemic model model was successful in predicting the behavior of outbreaks very similar to that observed in many recorded epidemics. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Assumptions. Models are only as good as the assumptions on which they are based. If a model makes predictions which are out of line with observed results and the mathematics is correct, the initial assumptions must change to make the model useful. Rectangular and stationary age distribution, i.e., everybody in the population lives to age L and then dies, and for each age up to L there is the same number of people in the population. This is often well justified for developed countries where there is a low infant mortality and much of the population lives to the life expectancy. Homogeneous mixing of the population, i.e., individuals of the population under scrutiny assort and make contact at random and do not mix mostly in a smaller subgroup. This assumption is rarely justified because social structure is widespread. For example, most people in London only make contact with other Londoners. Further, within London then there are smaller subgroups, such as the Turkish community or teenagers just to give two examples, who mix with each other more than people outside their group. However, homogeneous mixing is a standard assumption to make the mathematics tractable. Types of epidemic models Stochastic Stochastic means being or having a random variable. A stochastic model is a tool for estimating probability distributions of potential outcomes by allowing for random variation in one or more inputs over time. Stochastic models depend on the chance variations in risk of exposure, disease and other illness dynamics. <laughs> 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 
Topic: <laughs> Deterministic When dealing with large populations, as in the case of tuberculosis, deterministic or compartmental mathematical models are often used. In a deterministic model, individuals in the population are assigned to different subgroups or compartments, each representing a specific stage of the epidemic. Letters such as M, S, E, I, and R are often used to represent different stages. The transition rates from one class to another are mathematically expressed as derivatives, hence the model is formulated using differential equations. While building such models, it must be assumed that the population size in a compartment is differentiable with respect to time and that the epidemic process is deterministic. In other words, the changes in population of a compartment can be calculated using only the history that was used to develop the model. Topic reproduction number The basic reproduction number denoted by R0 is a measure of how transferable a disease is. It is the average number of people that a single infectious person will infect over the course of their infection. This quantity determines whether the infection will spread exponentially, die out, or remain constant. If R0 greater than 1, then each person on average infects more than one other person, so the disease will spread. If R0. The basic reproduction number can be computed as a ratio of known rates over time, if an infectious individual contacts beta other people per unit time, if all of those people are assumed to contract the disease, and if the disease has a mean infectious period of 1, gamma, then the basic reproduction number is just R0. <laughs> Beta, gamma, some diseases have multiple possible latency periods, in which case the reproduction number for the disease overall is the sum of the reproduction number for each transition time into the disease. For example, Bloer et al. model two forms of tuberculosis infection. In the fast case, the symptoms show up immediately after exposure, in the slow case, the symptoms develop years after the initial exposure. Endogenous reactivation. The overall reproduction number is the sum of the two forms of contraction, R0. ROFAST plus ROSLOW Topic Endemic steady state An infectious disease is said to be endemic when it can be sustained in a population without the need for external inputs this means that, on average, each infected person is infecting exactly one other person any more and the number of people infected will grow exponentially and there will be an epidemic, any less and the disease will die out. In mathematical terms, that is R 0 equals 1 display style R underscore 0 equals 1 the basic reproduction number R0 of the disease, assuming everyone is susceptible, multiplied by the proportion of the population that is actually susceptible S must be 1 since those who are not susceptible do not feature in our calculations as they cannot contract the disease. Notice that this relation means that for a disease to be in the endemic steady state, the higher the basic reproduction number, the lower the proportion of the population susceptible must be, and vice versa. Assume the rectangular stationary age distribution and let also the ages of infection have the same distribution for each birth year. Let the average age of infection be A, for instance when individuals younger than A are susceptible and those older than A are immune or infectious. Then it can be shown by an easy argument that the proportion of the population that is susceptible is given by S equals A L display style S equals frac A L but the mathematical definition of the endemic steady state can be rearranged to give S 
equals one R zero Display style S equals frac one R underscore zero Therefore, due to the transitive property one R zero equals A L R zero equals L A Display style frac one R underscore zero equals frac A L right arrow R underscore zero equals frac L A this provides a simple way to estimate the parameter R0 using easily available data. For a population with an exponential age distribution, R0 equals 1 plus L A display style R underscore 0 equals 1 plus frac L A this allows for the basic reproduction number of a disease given A and L in either type of population distribution. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Modeling epidemics. The SIR model is one of the more basic models used for modeling epidemics. There are a large number of modifications to the model. Topic: The Sir model. In 1927, W. O. Kermick and A. G. McKendrick created a model in which they considered a fixed population with only three compartments, susceptible S T, display style S T, infected I T, display style I T and removed r t display style r t the compartments used for this model consist of three classes s t display style s t is used to represent the number of individuals not yet infected with the disease at time t or those susceptible to the disease i t Display style i t denotes the number of individuals who have been infected with the disease and are capable of spreading the disease to those in the susceptible category. R t display style r t is the compartment used for those individuals who have been infected and then removed from the disease, either due to immunization or due to death. Those in this category are not able to be infected again or to transmit the infection to others. The flow of this model may be considered as follows S I R display style color blue math call S right arrow math call I right arrow math call R using a fixed population N equals S T plus I T plus R T display style n equals S T plus I T plus R T. Kermick and McKendrick derived the following equations: D S D T equals minus Beta S I N display style frac D S D T equals frac beta S I N D I D T equals beta S I N minus gamma I Display style frac di dt equals frac beta s i n gamma i d r d t equals 
gamma i display style frac drive dt equals gamma i Several assumptions were made in the formulation of these equations. First, an individual in the population must be considered as having an equal probability as every other individual of contracting the disease with a rate of beta display style beta which is considered the contact or infection rate of the disease. Therefore, an infected individual makes contact and is able to transmit the disease with beta n display style beta n others per unit time and the fraction of contacts by an infected with a susceptible is s n display style s n the number of new infections in unit time per infective then is beta n s n display style beta n s n giving the rate of new infections or those leaving the susceptible category as beta n s n i equals beta s i display style beta n s n i equals beta s i for the second and third equations, consider the population leaving the susceptible class as equal to the number entering the infected class. However, a number equal to the fraction gamma, display style gamma, which represents the mean recovery death rate, or one gamma, display style one gamma. The mean infective period of infectives are leaving this class per unit time to enter the removed class. These processes which occur simultaneously are referred to as the law of mass action, a widely accepted idea that the rate of contact between two groups in a population is proportional to the size of each of the groups concerned. Finally, it is assumed that the rate of infection and recovery is much faster than the time scale of births and deaths and therefore, these factors are ignored in this model. <laughs> <laughs> Steady state solutions The expected duration of susceptibility will be E M I N T L T S text style e min t underscore l t underscore s where t l text style t underscore l reflects the time alive life expectancy and t s text style t underscore s reflects the time in the susceptible state before becoming infected which can be simplified to e m i n t l t s equals 0 i n f e x p minus mu plus delta equals 1 mu plus delta display style e min t underscore l t underscore s equals int underscore 0 caret inf exp caret mu plus delta equals frac 1 mu plus delta such t Hat the number of susceptible persons is the number entering the susceptible compartment mu n text style mu n times the duration of susceptibility s equals mu n mu plus lambda Display style s equals frac mu n mu plus lambda. 
Analogously, the steady state number of infected persons is the number entering the infected state from the susceptible state number susceptible times rate of infection. Lambda equals beta i n text style lambda equals frac beta the first n times the duration of infectiousness one mu plus v text style frac one mu plus v i equals mu n mu plus lambda lambda one mu plus v Display style i equals frac mu n mu plus lambda lambda frac one mu plus v. Topic: Other compartmental models. There are a large number of modifications of the SIR model, including those that include births and deaths, where upon recovery there is no immunity CIS model, where immunity lasts only for a short period of time SIRS, where there is a latent period of the disease where the person is not infectious CIS and, SEIR, and where infants can be born with immunity MSIR. Infectious disease dynamics Mathematical models need to integrate the increasing volume of data being generated on host pathogen interactions. Many theoretical studies of the population dynamics, structure and evolution of infectious diseases of plants and animals, including humans, are concerned with this problem. Research topics include Transmission, spread and control of infection Epidemiological networks Spatial epidemiology Persistence of pathogens within hosts Intra-host dynamics Immunoepidemiology Virulence Strain biology structure and interactions Antigenic shift Phylodynamics Pathogen population genetics Evolution and spread of resistance Role of host genetic factors Statistical and mathematical tools and innovations Role and identification of infection reservoirs Mathematics of mass vaccination If the proportion of the population that is immune exceeds the herd immunity level for the disease, then the disease can no longer persist in the population. Thus, if this level can be exceeded by vaccination, the disease can be eliminated. An example of this being successfully achieved worldwide is the global smallpox eradication, with the last wild case in 1977. The WHO is carrying out a similar vaccination campaign to eradicate polio. The herd immunity level will be denoted Q. Recall that, for a stable state R 0 S equals 1. Display style R underscore 0 C D O T S equals 1. In turn, R Zero equals N S equals mu N E T L mu N E M I N T L T S equals e t l e m i n t l t s 
Display style R underscore zero equals frac N S equals frac mu ni T underscore L mu ni min T underscore L T underscore S equals frac E T underscore L E min T underscore L T underscore S which is a PPR Oximately E T L E T S equals one plus Lambda Mu equals Beta N V Display style frac E T underscore L E T underscore S equals one plus frac Lambda Mu equals frac Beta N V S will be 1 minus Q, since Q is the proportion of the population that is immune and Q plus S must equal 1 since in this simplified model, everyone is either susceptible or immune. Then R 0 1 minus Q equals 1 Display style R underscore zero C D O T one Q equals one one minus Q equals one R zero Display style one Q equals frac one R underscore zero Q equals one minus one R zero Display style Q equals one frac one R underscore zero. Remember that this is the threshold level. If the proportion of immune individuals exceeds this level due to a mass vaccination program, the disease will die out. We have just calculated the critical immunization threshold denoted QC. It is the minimum proportion of the population that must be immunized at birth or close to birth in order for the infection to die out in the population. Q C equals 1 minus 1 R 0 Display style Q underscore C equals one frac one R underscore zero. Because the fraction of the final size of the population P that is never infected can be defined as Lim T minus greater than INF S T equals EXP minus zero INF Lambda T D T equals one minus P Display style lim underscore t two inf s t equals exp carrot int underscore zero carrot inf lambda t dt equals one p. Hence p equals one minus exp minus zero inf beta i T D T equals one minus EXP minus R zero P Display style P equals one EXP carrot int underscore zero carrot INF beta the first T DT equals one EXP carrot R underscore zero P Solving for R zero Display style R underscore zero We obtain R zero equals Minus L N one 
minus p p display style r underscore zero equals frac lane one p p Topic when mass vaccination cannot exceed the herd immunity if the vaccine used is insufficiently effective or the required coverage cannot be reached for example due to popular resistance, the program may fail to exceed QC. Such a program can, however, disturb the balance of the infection without eliminating it, often causing unforeseen problems. Suppose that a proportion of the population Q where Q1 the vaccination program changes R0 to RQ where RQ equals R0 1 minus Q display style R underscore Q equals R underscore 0 1 Q this change occurs simply because there are now fewer susceptibles in the population who can be infected RQ is simply R0 minus those that would normally be infected but that cannot be now since they are immune as a consequence of this lower basic reproduction number, the average age of infection A will also change to some new value AQ in those who have been left unvaccinated. Recall the relation that linked R0, A and L assuming that life expectancy has not changed, now, RQ equals LAQ equals frac LA underscore Q, AQ equals LRQ equals LR0 1 minus Q, display style R underscore Q equals frac LR underscore Q equals frac LR underscore 0 1 Q but R zero equals L A so A Q equals L L A one minus Q equals A L L one minus Q equals one minus Q Display style are underscore Q equals frac L L A one Q equals frac L L one Q equals frac a one Q Thus the vaccination program will raise the average age of infection, another mathematical justification for a result that might have been intuitively obvious. Unvaccinated individuals now experience a reduced force of infection due to the presence of the vaccinated group. However, it is important to consider this effect when vaccinating against diseases that are more severe in older people. A vaccination program against such a disease that does not exceed QC may cause more deaths and complications than there were before the program was brought into force as individuals will be catching the disease later in life. These unforeseen outcomes of a vaccination program are called perverse effects. <laughs> when mass vaccination exceeds the herd immunity If a vaccination program causes the proportion of immune individuals in a population to exceed the critical threshold for a significant length of time, transmission of the infectious disease in that population will stop. This is known as elimination of the infection and is different from eradication. Elimination Interruption of endemic transmission of an infectious disease, which occurs if each infected individual infects less than one other, is achieved by maintaining vaccination coverage to keep the proportion of immune individuals above the critical immunization threshold. Eradication Reduction of infective organisms in the wild worldwide to zero. So far, this has only been achieved for smallpox and rinderpest. To get to eradication, elimination in all world regions must be achieved. See also Compartmental models in epidemiology Critical community size Ecosystem model Force of infection 
Landscape epidemiology Next generation matrix Risk factor Sexual network Transmission risks and rates <laughs>